Hello and welcome to Just Delps review slash first impression video of Monaco, What's Yours Is Mine, developed by Andy Schatz of Pocket Watch Gaming. Uh, this is released on Windows, PC, uh, Mac OS, Linux, and released on Xbox Live Arcade by Majesco Entertainment. Uh, this is a French espionage heist game. It's very action-packed, vibrant, and colorful. Uh, this game is a visual masterpiece, I would say. It's very nice to look at, very colorful. It's, it's, it's nice. It's, it's, good, it's good on the eyes. It's, it's lovely to look at. It is a stealth game at heart. You have to be sneaky. You can go ahead and go for the direct approach, which is less fun, in I'd say. And... It's, it's just go, kind of going against the game, and you probably will get your ass handed to you on a silver platter, I might add. Okay, so let's look at the modes here. You got enhanced mode, which is the main game that is, which is why you buy it for, to be honest. Um, classic mode, which a little backstory to create the developer Andy Schatz. Oops, Andy Schatz. I'm so sorry, Andy Schatz. Andy Schatz. It's an awful surname. <laughs> I'm sorry if I offended you. Uh, I believe he worked on this game for two weeks, uh, released it, put it out there for the world to see, and I believe he won an IGF award. Award. Uh, so we, for the next couple of years, he worked on this game. A uh, Pocket Watch Gaming actually also worked on two other games. A wildlife Tycoon, Venture Africa, and Venture Arctic. Um, those games... I, I took a look at them. I, I took a quick, brief look at them. They're not that visually impressive for what they are, which is a, I suppose, a safari experience. It really doesn't give off that look. But it, it, I guess it was a 2000... Five release or so. I believe that, that is when the company was founded. But yeah, uh, here they came from almost out of nowhere with an amazing game, very highly praised in the indie market. So yeah, that's classic mode for you. And of course, as society dictates, there has to be a zombie mode. Zonico, your flesh is mine. <laughs> I love it. I, I'm pretty sure I speak for the entire world. When I, well, most of the entire world. When I say I'm sick of zombies, but it's there if you want it. A nice little survival factor is always nice. Uh, for you zombie nuts out there. So yeah, there's also zombie mode. I'm going to take a look at enhanced mode and maybe look at zombie mode if you have enough time. If you've been good. If you've been good throughout the video, giving me likes and subscribes, sharing it on your social medias. Hmm? Sorry. You don't, you don't have to do any of that. You know what? Don't do any of that. Be nice if you did, though. Anyway, let's look at the options. Here are the controls. There, there are the Xbox controls. Lovely. Just lovely. Here are the keyboard controls. I, I, I thought they were not for a second. So here are the keyboard controls. Uh, pretty standard. I, I don't think you can rebind these actually. I don't see any toggle shared vision. Yeah, um, I don't think you can rebind the keys, which is a shame. Uh, settings. You can now have full screen or not full screen. Very, very nice. Resolution. Pick your resolution. Uh, you could, you know, very standard. There's no medium, which is odd. Uh, brightness, colorblind mode. Uh, there's audio settings, vibration, very um normal stuff. It doesn't give you too much to play around with. So yeah, that is restart game for this change to take. Oh no! And credits, which are lovely. Uh, leaderboards, achievements, and. Game. So, let's just take a look at the enhanced mode. 
Let's go. Enhanced. So this is the prison break, so I think we should start here. Now, when you first start the game, you you automatically start offline mo online mode. So when you start playing the game, uh, it should happen. Uh, someone will join your lobby. For first timers, you might go, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Come on. There's always someone that joins my lobby because I accidentally made it offline mode. Online mode. Nope. Gonna make you look like a fool. Nope, oh, there you go. There you go. Yes, so. Oh, and he left. Lovely. Anyway, so. Yeah, for first timers who play this game, you have to press start. As you can see down on the left, which is kind of odd. Start offline mode. Um, I don't, I don't really like the system when I first played the game, I, I, like, w when I was supposed to be learning the controls, I, as I was learning the controls, I was in a lobby with a bunch of other people, and I, of course, being a newcomer, I made them wait as I was like, dude, guys, guys, how do I, how do I do a thing? But yeah, so, press start to do offline. Um, I don't really like the look of all, of, like, it's very messy, it's very cluttered. But, you know, it's alright, you know, um, yeah, it's just extra stuff, which you, and PvP, which is always fun. And yeah, that's the origin of the, this is the locksmith story, there are two stories, I believe there are more stories, I'm not 100% sure, so let's start with this level. So, uh, I believe there are around a hundred characters more or less in this game you you unlock a variety of characters with their own little perks and traits for instance the mole here as you can see he can dig through most walls and obstacles now this is a good thing because you know you can take shortcuts you could dig through just mostly anything um with your freedom spoon <laughs> as as the character puts it in the uh, little, little talking cutscenes, which are always amusing. Uh, has a lot of humor this game. But, a little disadvantage would be you alert guards. They go, why is there a hole in the wall? And you're prone to be detected much more easily. A uh, locksmith, very fast at picking locks. Don't, I don't see a disadvantage there. Um, not all have disadvantages. He can he can look out for distant enemies, which I will tell you in a second why that's very nice. Uh, he has a monkey to pickpocket as a monkey, which grabs loot from cleaner. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the locksmith because this is his story. Here are the nice little talking cutscenes. Not really a cutscene, but little talking breaks before you start, which are amusing. Mole is grateful. Riveting dialogue by the cleaner, might I add. Riveting. No time to no time to talk. Gotta find passports. Get out of Dodge. Um, I almost made him, I almost gave him an Indian accent. Don't know why. E embassies having have him passports. Free embassies in Monaco. Lebanese is least secure. You have intel on this place. Mo has done this before. Steal passports from the Lebanese embassy so that you can escape the country. Ready? I don't know. Are you ready? It's my fault. Sorry. Um. All right. So let's. I think I think we're right. Just steal passports. Sounds simple enough. Lovely. So as you can see, there's my little character here. I'm gonna give you a second. To just listen. Listen to this lovely soundtrack created by Austin Wintory. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, he he. This guy has done uh, work for games such as Journey and Leisure Suit Larry Reloaded and Flow. Oh, right, self guard. I think I have. I think kind of saw me. Okay. Um. And Flo, uh, taking a look at his work, he he seems like he knows what he's doing. He, he knows how to set 
nice tone and ambience depending on the game. Oh, so he thinks he kind of saw me. That was very stupid of me. Oh, god damn. See? You have to be sneaky in this game. <laughs> okay, good. That's right, he saw nothing. Now, as I, uh, as I was saying, I think it was the... L yeah, um... I forgot which character it was. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so now I get in this bush. Oh. Hey! Hey, you! Go! That's right! You be an intruder. You gotta do your job. Yeah, yeah, come on. Damn it! Why is he not going outside? Ah, you! Okay, can you not see me? Can you not? Okay, so gotta be. Gotta be kinda sneaky. Gotta be kinda. Is he. Not, not too good at this. First guy. Okay, maybe I can do it this time. Oh, did I, did he see me? Nope. Nope, okay, so. Let's try to do this. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Except not to be seen. Get in this bush. He can see me. This is smoke bomb. That's right. Smoke bomb your ass. Let's go upstairs. Not, not a very well demonstration of the stealth in this game, which I apologize for. I'm sorry. That was awful. Um, but yeah, you have to be sneaky in this game. You could, you know, take, take on it head on like you just saw me do, because I'm an impatient little prick. And you'll get your ass handed to you, which I kind of did. Lost a little health. So this this is so steel passport. That is the objective. So as you saw, I used the. That's gonna do something. Uh, I stole. No, I didn't steal. I I got um, a smoke grenade. You can also pick up other items such as guns, uh, which. You can only use a limited amount of times unless you get coins, which replenishes your ammo. So this guy cannot see me, because as you can see, his torch is what he can see. As it is with all guards, they can only see what their torch is pointed at. Such a lovely cliche for me to heist. As I was saying, the lookout, he is very he's pretty good his perk was he can see enemies when he's not really looking head on them like as you can see I can only see what's up ahead by looking what's in my line of sight uh, and he just answered the phone which means I can go through here and uh, being the little pick pick lock locksmith I believe I can pick it pretty quickly, which is great in tough little situations that I always get myself into. See, if I was a mole, I could just dig through there. No perk, no trait. As you can see, this is a top down uh, view, um, which is very nice. It's very inventive, very fun. Okay, so you guys gotta be really sneaky, you see? And... Okay, so, steal the passports. Use computers to hack security. Get some coins. Don't get in the bush. This is... Some, this game does get very tense at times. When there are a bunch of guards chasing you because you messed up or you're trying to be really stealthy to not alert the guards because you have to go to this thing that's like really near to the guards line of sight and it gets very tense and with friends like especially with friends it gets very fun it is a very nice game to play especially in a group nope oh, damn it. And, and I self alarm now you see this this tough situation I get myself into Come on! Come on! No! Okay, very tense. Uh, I could... Uh, nah. Damn it. Smoke bomb! Ah! Now I just go in the bush. 
and they're like, what intruder? I don't think I saw an intruder at all. I mean, I felt my punch going into his intruder head. But nah, it must have been nothing. You just love that in video games. He obviously hit me. He obviously saw me. Anyway, love it. So, use computers to hack security. So let's hack some computers, shall we? So the aim is to not make noise and to avoid guards. It is a two to four player multiplayer online or co or local uh, game. Each character has different abilities and then it's a very, it's a very small game. I, I, I do really like this game a lot. It, it, it makes for a lot of fun playthroughs with friends. Oh, okay. So is it all hacked? Nope, it's not. It's this little. So I, I'm guessing I have to hack all of them. Okay, I, I'm guessing I have to hack all of them at once. So that is what I shall do really quickly. Come on! Damn it. Okay. Um, this should be hacked. I. Damn it. Okay, so hack some computers. And then that goes into that. And. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, damn it. Gosh darn dang. I don't think they know where I am. It's all. Nope, it's not handful. Ugh, it sucks. Gotta be fast, gotta be. Gotta go fast. So yeah, um, you do get new enemies, like such as dogs. I, I I believe in one level you there are dogs who, even if you're not in their line of sight, they can still detect you by sniffing you. So there's this like little bar around them, and if you go near that bar, then they can they they will detect you. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna get detected now. Hopefully not. What? What? What is it? Damn! No! No! Ah! Ain't that just the worst? <laughs> okay, just hack some computers. I don't think there is much else to say about this game. It is a great game. Very fun. I think I'll show you zombie mode now because. Uh, it's gonna take me a while. Uh, let's try some online, shall we? I always love how there's always someone willing to play, especially in indie games. You never really see that. Um, I think I'll be goat monkey. Cause wait, this was the lookout. Yeah, he's just called the lookout. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. I'll be there. Pickpocket, there's no one joining. Damn it, you're always making me look like a fool. Make you look like a fool, god damn it. But, it is very common for someone to join your lobby, which in indie games, you really don't see. Uh, showing how, how much praise this and attention this game has, and why you should play it. It's a very, it's a very enjoyable game. Just waiting for someone to join. Up oh, there you go. Hope he doesn't leave like the last guy. Oh! I'll go to the devil. Ah. I'm gonna be here for a while, I feel. How come when I. How come when I accidentally went in offline online mode, expecting it was offline mode, and just want to play by myself, people were just joining when I didn't even want to? Now the one time, the one flipping time I need someone to join. Ah, this is very disappointing. Maybe if I do another level, let's do this level again. Maybe a mole. Wait, no. Okay. Let's 
Uh, no. No, I don't think we're gonna get such luck today. Darn you, <laughs> game. I feel like it's doing some purpose. I feel like it's leading people away from my server, away from my lobby, just in, to, in spite me. Okay, well, I did say, let's check out classic mode, I did say that if we had time, and if you've been a good little viewer, we would have checked out zombie mode, and I think we will. Do we check out a nice little classic mode, shall we? Very dull colors. Don't know if the actual mode was actually like this. Uh, looks looks like the same game. Obviously, it is not. There's a shotgun. I don't feel it's as visually impressive. I'm not sure. There's a gun, by the way. That you get. Okay, so this is a little element of the sneaking, which is nice to show. Uh, if you press, I'm on the Xbox controller, but if you press the LT button, which is the left. <laughs> Darn it! I don't. I don't really know what to. I can't. There's left bumper. Left. Thumbstick. Fucking. Sorry. It's not coming to me right now. Um. But yeah, the the sneak button. Yeah, that that is the sneak button. The LT is what I'll call it now. And with that, you can sneak across people. Like, people see you as a normal person. Here's a disguise. So, if I sneak around in my disguise, people just go, Oh, it's just a regular guy with a gun. It's fine. It's cool here. We're cool with guys in suits with guns. I'm just gonna break into this. Wait, wait, what room is this? The ticket booth. Okay. Just gonna rob this script woman. Sorry. Take this. Lovely, 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 lovely. And take some money from her and I'll be on my way. Thanks, sweetheart. Thanks, that's lovely. Glad I didn't have to use my shotgun on her. <laughs> uh, I, I like being the locks, lock, lock, locksmith. Uh, because they're in tough situations. You do have to un unlock a door really fast or you're going to get your ass kicked. Here's a health, I don't really need it, but you just, if you just walk towards a thing, you, you immediately like to be like, this door right here, if I just go, if I just walk towards it and just keep on walking, it's gonna unlock it for me. I wonder if I just walk like a normal, hey, sup? It's fine. What's up? Hey. Up. Damn it, damn it, should've gone out of his way, should've gone out of his way, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, ah! Ah, uh, God! Ah! Uh, well, he <laughs> he didn't know I was a threat until I wouldn't get out of his way. And he's like, dude, the hell's going on? I'm I'm, I'm sorry, old yeller. That that was a shame. That was a big shameful of shameness, and I don't get rid of this guy. It's like he's going here. <laughs> I'm looking at the door while someone's kicking. Yes. See how it looked there. Just need to hide. Just need to hide. No. Damn it. Damn it. Damn you! Ah. Aha! Bushes! A heist. Uh, a heisters. Well, not today. Well, I was going to say a heisters. I am messing this up really bad. Um, that is not the point of the game. You're supposed to be sneaky and clever. Which I obviously was not. Game is pretty fun though when you when you play correctly. It's a simple thing to learn, but hard to master. Anyway, so yeah, that was Monaco. Very nice game. But I did promise you zombie mode, so I actually don't know what zombie mode is. I don't know what it is. Same level. Same character. Riveting conversations in Zonico, your flesh is mine, such as Blarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
and horror and horror again and an even more odd err plug plug <laughs> of course riveting conversation so I suppose I'm a zombie cuz I talk like a zombie I'm gonna grab a gun I think zombies have guns though um, do I do I eat him? Do I infect him? Oh shit! There's on. Oh, they are zombies. Ah, uh, damn! Oh no, zomb zombies! Ah! Oh shit! Oh, damn it! This game. Ah, uh, god, no. Ah, uh, here you go. Oh gosh, the whole world's against you now. Oh, what if I could sneak out? Sneak my way out of this. Everyone's a zombie, I'm guessing. Brains, 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 brains. PPS! Brains. <laughs> Love it. Do I have them? Yes, I do. Hey! Dead brain! I'm trying to think of a. <laughs> trying to think of a nice thing to say when I kill this zombie. Um. Hip hip cheerio, motherfucker. Lovely. And there's a guy after me. A zombie after me. Just any guy. <laughs> so yeah, if you like zombies, Monoka has that too. If you like heist games with stealth and action, Monaco has that. If you like both, fucking buy this game right now. Anyway believe that is all I need to say about Monaco to convince you to get it. It's a very it's a very nice game, very well uh, constructed, nice solid gameplay. Um yeah it's just a very it's highly praised getting like reviews of nine out of ten. Well deserved nines might I add. I'd I'd give it a nine out of ten, maybe nine point five. It's, it's a very good game. And I'm tired of saying it's a good game. There's nothing else to say. It's so yeah. That was Monaco. What's yours is mine. Buy it now. There's a humble store. There's the Steam page. I will link all of this in my description. Christmas is tomorrow. So if you're watching this before Christmas Day, and you and you feel like there's one more present you might like, there's always Monaco. You can buy it on the Humble Store for around three dollars. Uh, Steam Store. Oh, well, Steam page. Uh, I believe with the Christmas sale, I believe regularly it's around fifteen dollars. Uh, Steam sale. I got this for about three dollars. So yeah, it's Humble Store, Steam page. Go get this now. Great game. Thanks for watching, everyone. For Adjust up first impression slash review. I will have to do another one of these. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. S yeah, you wanna come?